kids, did you not see the Avengers? Oh, that's right, every kid saw the Avengers. Hey, toddlers! Did you not see the Avengers? What? The Avengers! I have to talk in this very uh, kiddish voice because that's what toddlers respond to. The Avengers! I have no idea what you're talking about. Great! Well, now we got the dream team for you! Dream team? That's right, the team of dreams! We got Santa Claus! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas! Yeah, oh my god, Santa Claus, Santa Claus, I love him so much! Ah, oh, great, that's not all! Santa's not real! The Easter Bunny! Oh my god, I love the Easter Bunny, he brings me eggs, he brings me chocolates! Yeah, good, good! He's not real life! Ugh. The Tooth Fairy! He's definitely not real! Oh my god, shut up! No. What do you want? What do you want? It's a girl, by the way, not a guy. Oh, yeah? You're going down. No. No, no. no. Oh, now that I got that covered with, we got Jack Frost. What happened to that voice? Hey, kid, I'm kind of getting tired. I just can't do the voice. Jack Frost. Have you heard of him? All right, all right. He's too old for you. We got Sandman. I don't like this movie anymore. That's okay. We got, we got the Boogeyman. <laughs> wondered how all the work gets done? What are you talking about, dude? I have no time for this. Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny. What, what are you talking about? Ugh. Having such a rough day. Oh my god, just set up this camera. I'll talk to that. Maybe it'll support me. Alright, so Rise of the Guardians shows how Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, Tooth Fairy get all the work done. Santa Claus? How does he get his work done? Well, he's Russian. There you go. Easter Bunny. How does he get his work done? He's Wolverine. He's Hugh Jackman. He, he, he got it handled. Tooth Fairy. How does she get the work done? Well, she's a little fairy. You didn't think she was a legit fairy. You thought he, he was like a hockey player or something. Yeah, he's a, she's a fairy. It makes it a lot easier. Sandman. How does he get the work done? You just put sand in your ears and you get dreams, okay? There, there. Rise of the Guardians. Woo. What's going on, everyone? Mega Movie Man Mark here, and tis the season for coldness. Has Jack Frost stopped by yet? And no, I don't mean the Michael Keaton Batman Jack Frost, or speaking of Batman, the Iceman. <laughs> Sorry, let me do that again. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger from Batman and Robin. Ugh. Let's not talk about that. And no, I'm not the man who changes the North Pole into an amusement park. I'm referring to the pesky little, maybe teenage white-haired man who's responsible, not man, kid who's responsible for snow. Our friend here is part of the newest DreamWorks animated film, Rise of the Guardians, and the last one to be distributed by Paramount. They started working on DreamWorks movies a few years back. It was when I didn't do much research on movies, so I had to figure out everything for myself. I was watching some DreamWorks trailers, and I'm like, why is there a Paramount logo there? Because I remember, doesn't Paramount do the Spongebob Squarepants movie? Anyways, getting a little nostalgic, but... <laughs> it's very different now, but the deal has ended. No more Paramount movies and DreamWorks movies. The next distributor is 20th Century Fox. They'll be delivering the crudes to us in March. Rest in peace, Paramount and DreamWorks partnership. I hope I never have to say that for Disney and Pixar. Oh. That'd be terrible. So Rise of the Guardians has nothing to do with that owl movie, which a lot of people liked, I was not a fan of. That was actually the first movie review I ever did on my old channel, MarkR98. Wow, what a nostalgic episode here. <laughs> this is the story about Jack Frost, and Jack Frost isn't really the heroic type. He's all about fun and nothing but fun. Snow days, snowball fights, that's the thing that he lives for. Those are the things. That's what he wants out of life. That's what he gets. Right? Wrong! When the boogeyman, haven't said that word for a while. Ah, I feel like a kid again doing this episode. I remember saying the word boogeyman, like, is there a boogeyman under my bed? Let's check. Oh, ah, there's something else! I really don't think he's iconic as like Santa Claus or anything, but his name is Pitch. Pitch as in black. Pitch Black! And this is when he decides to turn the little dreams of kids into nightmares. The Guardians include a Scottish or Russian Santa, a British Easter Bunny, an American Tooth Fairy, a sign language Sandman, Another not very iconic one. And they all join together and recruit Jack Frost when they are in need of his help. You would think Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny could handle it themselves. They don't even need the Tooth Fairy and the other guy, Sandman. And they're asking for another guy? Well, they are greedy. But, you know, they give away millions of gifts every year, so it kind of makes sense for them to want something in return. Jack Frost is what they want, and they get him. 
And it's a DreamWorks movie, so yes, the animation is top-notch. I still think Pixar is superior, but DreamWorks is just getting better and better. They're pretty much perfect now. However, looks aren't everything. Did this movie entertain me? Yes, but I have a lot of negative things to say, unfortunately. Not a lot. I still really like the movie. Sort of. Sort of really like the movie. Before I went into this movie, I'm like, is this one of the contenders for best animated movie of the year? If it went down to two, because there's not many that were that great anyways. But it's not. A lot of my problems actually come from the first part of the movie. And this is Jack Frost's movie. I was hoping that it was everyone's fair share of the movie because all we get to see is Jack Frost's story. And I didn't like that. There was little development for the other characters. And you could say, well, everyone knows who Santa Claus is. Why do we need to know more about him? Well, I want to see what DreamWorks take on all of these animated characters are. And if they make a sequel, I hope they touch on that. Not so good execution, not even fun or whimsical like other holiday movies in the beginning. It just jumped right into things and you're like, whoa, whoa, where are we? I don't know if I like this kind of movie. I like to have some kind of lead up. Even if it's like the Santa Claus 2 where, you know, you see everyone making toys or something, nothing, nothing was there. I don't want it to be unoriginal. But all I'm saying is that they should have had something. It was missing something. I totally felt that... The second act of the movie, however, was a lot better. A lot better. It was lots of fun, it, w it was enjoyable watching, but there wasn't too many laughs. This isn't going down in history for the best Christmas movie ever, because it's not a Christmas movie. I'd probably give the first half a 2.5, the second half a 3.5. Let's give the movie right in the middle, 3 Megamart. I enjoyed it, wouldn't mind seeing these characters again. Actually, I think I really want to see my these characters again, because the movie felt like it was missing something, and if they make a Rise of the Guardians 2, I want to see more development with the other characters, equal screen time, not just Jack Frost, story. One thing that really bothered me though is that around Thanksgiving they're like the Guardians are saving the holidays and then near Christmas the Guardians are saving Christmas. No they're not. They're saving the holidays right after Christmas. The Guardians are saving the holidays again. How many movies is this? Is it the same movie? Because you're marketing it as a different movie. And you could bet that they're gonna say the Guardians are saving Easter when the Easter one comes out. Or maybe they won't because maybe somebody will watch this video. Your kids will love it. The big Easter bunny. You would think, why not make him cute? There's a part where they do make him cute. They make everyone happy. Anyways, that is it for now. I know a lot of people like this movie more than me. A lot of people like it less. Actually, no, not many people like it less at all. But still, if I like it the least, and I still liked it, this is a good movie. Comment below and let me know what you thought of Rise of the Guardians. Will you be planning on checking it out when it comes out just in time for Easter on Blu-ray or DVD? Or Blu-ray 3D if you want to get picky. Ha! <laughs> no. Let me know your favorite Guardian. Tooth Fairy, Easter Bunny, Santa Claus in the comment section below. Since I talked about kind of like my childhood three times in this video, let's get nostalgic. Who do you like the best? Down below, you know, how much money do you get from the Tooth Fairy? Remember, subscribing to Mega Movie Man Mark is mega cool. Marker.